The 2S25M Sprut SDM-1 is a new air-portable light tank. It is a modernized version of the previous 2S25 Sprut SD. The original Sprut SD was adopted in 2005 and produced in limited numbers for the Russian airborne units. The 2S25M Sprut SDM-1 is an improved and more modern version. It uses new chassis similar to that of the new BMD-4M airborne combat vehicle. It has new engine, new fire control system and some other improvements. The Sprut SDM-1 was first publicly revealed in 2016. It was announced that a first batch of six tanks will be delivered to the Russian Airborne Forces in 2017. In 2020 this air-portable light tank was delivered for official military trials. These trials were planned to be completed in 2021 to 2022. It was planned that mass production of the Sprut SDM-1 could begin in 2022. The Sprut SDM-1 is officially referred in Russia as a self-propelled anti-tank gun or tank destroyer. Though it is a light tank by its function. This combat vehicle was specially designed for the Russian Airborne Forces. This tank is air-portable and can be para-dropped. Furthermore it is fully amphibious. Its main role is to support airborne landing operations. It is intended to engage hostile armor, as well as to support infantry. Even though it was originally designed for the airborne units tank can be also used by naval infantry units. Though currently Russian naval infantry has got no amphibious tanks in its inventory. Their surviving PT-70 SAXS were retired in 2015. Other modern airborne tanks are the US Griffin II, which was recently approved for production and the Chinese ZTQ-15 which is currently in production and is being used by the Chinese military. The Sprut SDM-1 weights just 18T mobility, rapid redeployment and air transportability are the key factors of this new light tank. Though this comes at a cost of limited armor protection. Its front arc withstands only 12.7mm round hits. All-round protection is limited to 7.62mm fire and artillery shell splinters. So protection of this light tank is very weak. Armor protection can be increased with add-on armor. Add-on armored skirts can be fitted for a higher level of protection. This tank is equipped with an NBC protection and automatic fire extinguishing systems. Despite weak armor the Sprut SDM-1 has firepower of a modern main battle tank. It is claimed that in terms of firepower it is comparable to that of Russian T-72 and T-90 series tank. It is armed with a fully stabilized 2A75M 125mm smoothbore gun. It can fire all standard 125mm ammunition used by T-72 and T-90 series tanks. In 2022 new programmable ammunition for this tank was introduced. Maximum range of fire is 2 to 2.5 kilometers. There is an automatic ammunition loading system. It allows to have a crew of just three men, as there is no need for the loader. The Sprut SDM-1 can launch anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. This feature is common to all modern Russian tanks. The laser-guided anti-tank missiles are derived from 9M119M1 in VAR-M missile. These have a range of up to 5 kilometers and can also target low-flying helicopters. A total of 40 rounds including missiles are carried for the main gun. The autoloader holds 22 of them. Remaining 18 rounds are stored inside the hull. Typical ammunition load consists of 20 HEFRAG rounds, 14 APFSDS anti-tank rounds and 6 anti-tank guided missiles. This tank has a rate of fire of 7 rounds per minute. Spent cases are automatically ejected behind the turret. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The Sprut SDM-1 is fitted with additional remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. The Sprut SDM-1 is fitted with new fire control system. It features new sights from the T-90MS main battle tank. One of the most important improvements is an independent commander's sight with thermal vision. It allows to acquire and engage targets faster. Once the tank commander spots a target, it is selected and the gun is laid on the target automatically. The gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such engagement method is called hunter killer and is present on all modern main battle tanks. 
This light tank is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. Commander and gunner are seated in the two-man turret. The Sprut SDM-1 comes with new engine. It is powered by a UTD-29 multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 500 horsepower. The same naturally aspirated engine is used on the BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle and recent BMD-4M airborne combat vehicle. It is more modern comparing with the original 2V06-2S engine of the previous Sprut SD light tank. Some modifications were made to suspension. It uses unified components of the BMD-4M. This light tank has a hydropneumatic suspension with variable height control. Such suspension also the tank to be paradropped on platforms. It also allows the vehicle to lean in any direction. The Sprut SDM-1 is fully amphibious. On water it is propelled by two water jets. Maximum amphibious speed on water is 7 km per hour vehicle is seaworthy up to sea state 3. Even when afloat it can fire its main gun in limited traverse range. This light tank can embark and disembark from amphibious assault ships on its own. The IL-76 cargo aircraft can carry two of these light tanks. The Sprut SDM-1 can be paradropped with the crew on board.